Hello and welcome to Map to Love for your June Summer Love Twin Flame Soulmate reading. And if you did not check out the All Signs readings, All Zodiac Signs that I posted recently for the month of June, definitely listen because Spirit guided me in a very unique way to do those readings, to feel in on the energy of a person coming forward if you're not in union or the energy that your person will be in and possible future manifestations during the summer months. So they're really interesting. Definitely listen. Um, where I was guided first is I did use these in the all signs and in the divine masculine, divine feminine readings. Definitely listen to those as well. But I was guided to this contract because what came out heavily for the masculine, which is our take action, make decisions, move forward energy, right? And also with the feminine was to go within and make choices, make decisions. Don't fear the change. Well, seven is all about making dec decisions. So covenant, sacred contract. I feel that you are about to enter a new contract. And it's up to you. What do you want in this contract? What do you want your relationship to be like? What do you want your life to be like? Write it into existence. This is a new contract that you are drawing up with spirit. What's next for me? Now, uh, we do plan our lives before we come here. I know this because I've seen it. And there is a sacred contract that is ready for you. And you get to dream it all into existence the way, you know, that you view it. Your contract, your sacred contract with your lover. I mean, wow. Signing paperwork, getting married. I don't know. There's some contract coming. Commitment, sacred contract, the greater good. You are being invited now by the universe to enter into a sacred contract. The covenant card may also be a call to recognize that an ancient agreement you made with spirit needs to be renewed or canceled and torn up. Is an opportunity showing up right now that is full of promise, but you are unable to sign and seal the deal and commit to it? The reason is that it needs to be elevated to a sacred covenant. A covenant must be founded on the truth not your truth or his truth or her truth, but the greater truth that takes the destiny of all into account. The covenant is not about your agenda only. Spirit must be invited to come to the table as a guarantor of the good faith of all and to ensure that the direction you are embarking on will be for the greater good. It's important that you understand what you are signing up for. Be sure to read the fine print so as not to commit to something you will soon regret or that will compromise your integrity. Do not hesitate to put all your own cards on the table so that your motives and desires are transparent and nothing is left in the darkness. When shadow elements remain hidden, the covenant breaks down and becomes a contract with an unspoken dark side that is inevitably fulfilled. Whoa. I just got the chills everywhere. Okay. Spirit is encouraging you to put all your cards on the table. Be extremely transparent. Be authentic. Read between the lines. <laughs> Pay attention to the details. What are you signing up for? And do not hesitate to walk away from anything or anyone that is not serving your highest and best. And when we ignore the shadows, the red flags, the things that we know we need to look at. That's what we experience and the contract breaks down. But when you're open and honest and transparent and speak your truth, that's what a sacred contract is about. It's not about agreeing all the time. Sometimes it's about agreeing to disagree and to be comfortable in your own energy so much so that you are never afraid to speak your truth. And let me tell you how empowering that is, how liberating that is, because I've gotten myself to that point. And I can help you too as well, if, if you feel guided. And we can go over your sacred contract, but you are coming into a very important contract. With spirit. And it's new. And you could be ending an old contract because it's really important that you do that. 
And if you are, make sure when you exit and part ways that you're really paying attention to the details, okay? That's important for someone out there. Okay, with the romance angels, we're just going to see what the energy is around the sacred contract, around love um, in the next four weeks and throughout the summer or winter, depending on where you're at. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so excited. Okay. If you're in some kind of relationship or some kind of connection that is not serving you, decide to leave it. Cut it out. Okay. Do it what's highest and best for all and do it in a, in a way with integrity, right? Speaking from your heart space, but, but definitely do that because what, or if you've been having conflict with your person that you're with and just something hasn't been going right and it just seems like the shadows and fears are very present, talk about it, get it out there, bring it to the light because it's going to change everything. Okay. Cause wait till you see new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so if this is you you're single or you're leaving a situation that is just not serving you and just sucking the life out of you there is new love baby coming in for this contract okay and if you're in a relationship this is a new spark because this is your soulmate yes 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 and yes this is someone you're meant to be with this is someone you contracted to be with in this life and it's going to lead to engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. When you're open and authentic and honest and you share things and you transmute the shadows into the light, do you see how the masculines and all the dark, the shadows and the feminines in the light, there's a perfect, you know, yin and yang kind of balance here. Higher level of commitments coming in when you renew your contract with yourself and spirit and know your worth. Wow. And the underlying message here is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, respect yourself. Walk away from anything that's not serving you. Make the decision that's highest and best for you and your children and everyone involved. Love yourself first. And then you call, you're calling in this new spark, this new love. It is your soulmate. And you're moving into a higher level of commitment, which makes sense with the sacred contract. You could be getting married. You could be buying a house. You could be signing something with someone else, a business, and it's a higher level of commitment here. Both parties committing in it to win it. What's important to you? Write it down. Get clear because it's happening. It's coming in. What gateways are opening for this sacred contact, for this twin flame soulmate connection? Oh, I love it. Embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world, traveling the world, seeing the world through new eyes. You might like hot air balloons, getting that higher mind perspective. It's beautiful. So there's a new adventure, traveling, just... A lot of fun time seeing the world as the world opens up, right? Ooh, and look at this, igniting courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. So crossing the finish line, don't give up. You're almost there. Freedom with this horse. You have the strength and stamina. This connection has the strength and stamina to go the distance. And it's like someone is really stepping into their power and going after it. Like being brave enough to come forward and say, will you marry me? Or will you go out with me? Or will you have some coffee with me? Or something? Will you go into business with me? Because I know it's you. And look at this. Cultivating prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Things coming into fruition. Things growing, expanding, blossoming, blooming. Watering your seeds of intention. Cultivating the prosperous energy of this connection. And it's growing. Wow. Listen to your heart and with your heart. See, this is speaking from a place of unconditional love. When you do that, when you speak your truth and it's with a compassion, you can't go wrong. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Yes, trust that. The angels are working with you, helping you. The divine is working with you, helping you. 
And at the bottom, it says, stand firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. Yes, you are. You have what it takes. Stand in your truth, in your clarity, in your love, in your light. Stand firm on what you want and what you know you deserve. Trust this sacred love. Trust your heart. Beautiful. And I do feel that there is, uh, you know, it could be the feminine, but I feel, um, you know, it's the masculine take charge energy, whether that you resonate with it, feminines, or it is the masculine that's really listening to their heart and they're standing firm and they're stepping in their power and they want to go on this new adventure and cultivate with you, do something with you in the material world, build with you, grow with you. And, and right under that is expect miracles. Miracles are blossoming in my life. They are. Expect them. Expect miracles in your sacred love connection, in love, in this newness, in um, these, you know, this summertime, this next four weeks, next several months. And it was 1101 on the timestamp. So 111 new beginnings. It's just a confirmation from spirit. When I look over and I notice those things, it's like spirit wanted me to see that to, you know, really drive it home that there's new beginnings happening. Okay. New, new contracts. Okay. What else is coming on this to inflame soulmate journey the next four weeks leading us into the summer, into these new beginnings? Goddess of the moon. So this is getting really clear, you know, illusions, fears, insecurities, like that can all pop up with the moon. But I feel like it's not happening anymore because look at how she's holding the moon. It's like, you just know, it's like you trust your intuition and what the divine is telling you, seeing through the illusions finally. 52 being a seven is, you know, making those decisions. Trusting your heart when you sign this contract. There's victory here. Success. Ending a cycle for these new beginnings. Crossing the finish line. See, you're ending something and you're victorious. And look how her eyes are closed. Close your eyes. Go within for your answers. Go within for the peace. Go within for the truth. But you're being blessed. You're being recognized. Successful times ahead. For you, yourself, and this connection. There's victory here. Maybe, I, I feel like someone likes to bet on the horses and you're going to win. <laughs> if you bet on horses... Let me know. Oh my gosh. If you, okay. Yes. If you like to bet on horses or you ride horses or there's something with horses, look what came out when I said that. Go after that. Let me know how that works out for you. Because the light is winning, the white horse. Take action, step into your power. Someone's taking action. It's like chariot energy moving forward towards your destiny. The stars are aligning for this, for this contract to move forward. Somebody needs to take action and make it happen. See? Wow. And something about horse races. Wow. You may have horses, a property with horses, or that's something you've always dreamed about. And you may be signing a contract for that or buying a property for horses. Oh my God, horses are so beautiful and majestic. I would like to come visit you. Um, but, but something about horses and horse races and the man holding a heart. Maybe you're going to go to an event that has to do with that where they wear the fancy hats and everything and you're going to meet someone or you're just, I, I don't know. They're, someone's going to invite you there. Something like that. I know that's very specific, but I feel like it is going to be for someone. A man holding a heart, unconditional love. Listen with your heart and the man holding the heart. Yeah, trust yourself here. There's love coming in. This is this is um, beautiful, romantic, higher level of commitment. Someone that's um, emotionally available and emotionally intelligent. I mean, and sexy. Ooh, yes. I feel the feminine is very is extremely intuitive, the feminine in this connection, really trusting their intuition, psychic, very gifted, right? Works really hard on themselves and helps others. And the masculine is just this loving, generous, kind, fun, adventurous person. And I just, wow, it's just going to be great. That's what I feel. 
yeah, finally walking away, maturing. You've learned all you can from where you've been. You've learned it's been beautiful, it may be peaceful even, but there's more out there in the world than you know it. And so this is leaving one life behind, a relationship behind, a family dynamic, a home, a mindset, and you're walking away. It's kind of like the Eight of Cups, right? You can see the fairy's spirit is leading you. It's like, you know, it's your peace with it though. You're peace with it. Like, I'm going to walk towards what I want. I'm going to walk away from any contracts that aren't serving me. And I'm going to walk into this new contract. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of possibilities, a lot of doors opening for you. For you and your your sacred lover to to walk through a new home you may be um, looking at new homes and places to live and it's like just whatever door you choose is going to lead you to happiness and lead you outside to the light and this is like things being illuminated and becoming very clear so you know which door is the right door so a lot of possibilities are opening up pick the one that that feels the best for you you know that's highest and best for you and everyone else yeah this is all, but all tied up. You may feel all tied up when all these options appear. When, when this opportunity comes in and this man comes in and, and wants to take action and, and wants to move forward and level up, you may feel like you're tied up in your current circumstances or you get all tied up and all caught up in your head, right? But things are changing. If you felt this tied up feeling, like you're stuck and, and stifled, it's the doors are opening here, bunch of doors to get yourself out of this. It's up to you though to, to take, make that choice. But I feel like someone feels like they're all tied up. But look at this, things are being healed. You're a healer. They're a healer. Things are being healed. You're reaching out to a healer. To me, this feels like um, Jesus energy, master healer energy. Things are being healed. Things that made you feel stuck before in this connection and in your life are opening up now. And look at this, 51 and then 15. So the masculine and feminine mirroring one another. There's a mirroring effect happening. 51, 15, both sixes. So blessings and peace and balance coming in. Feminines, as you shine your light and you appreciate everything you have. This is much like the Queen of Pentacles energy. See, like putting in the work. I feel like you put in the work. You put on the work on yourself. You're appreciating everything. There's so much blossoming and blooming around you. You're not tied up anymore, right? Released yourself, healed, opened up in, the, in this, this, this love. It's like this masculine is going to appreciate you, feminine. There's a mutual appreciation here. Because this masculine that's in your life or coming in knows how much you've been through. They know how hard you've worked to get to where you're at. And they appreciate that about you. So whatever you felt stuck in, there's possibilities and it's like you're moving out of that and no longer you're outside. You see, every door that you pick leads outside and here's your freedom. I'm just, and the horse's freedom always represent freedom to me. Horse number three just came forward. Hmm. Let me know how that works out. <laughs> angel of balance things are being balanced yeah balance is coming to this connection to your life stand firm walk away from anything that's not serving you allow this love to come in it's time balance is coming in and at the bottom of the deck is strategy there's a strategy and plan here the reason why sometimes why fears pop up right and these illusions pop up is, is to allow us time to really see the truth, to really get clear with what we want. Like I said from the, look at that. There's a feather. Look at this. A feather pen, a feather pen. Listen, spirit is saying, write down what you want. Get clear with what you want because it's happening. There's strategy and plan here for this connection. And it's, whether you realize it or not, things have been working out behind the scenes. And this door to spirit and peace and blessings and harmony and just, wow, this divine innocence, light body activations is open. This is the door that's opening. 
to your highest vibrational sacred lover. I mean, you just, the doors are opening for you. And Archangel Michael is saying, listen, I'm here to help you with your stability, to cut through these illusions, to pave the way to help you, to help you step into your power. There's safety, security, stability, vitality coming back to your physical reality. Get to your roots, heal your roots. Finances being healed. Healing. And then look what's next. Doors. Talk about adjacent possibility. Doors opening. Door to spirit. Like there's a lot of doors opening for you. And what's opening is your finances. That may be why you or your person felt all tied up. Like I, I don't know how to move forward. I don't know the way. I'm not sure that I have enough money. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. But something's changing. This is the death of the doors being shut on your finances where it felt like, I felt like you or your person like really feels like or has felt like, oh my God, I'm all tied up in this other situation. I'm all tied up here. But what's happening is Archangel Michael is saying, I'm helping you with new beginnings for a shock or new beginnings here. By you connecting to the higher part of you and connecting with source and realizing that you are co-creating with the divine, that's how the strategy and plan comes and these doors open here. And look at this. It's the same energy as this healer energy. Magician. Yeah, look at that. Manifestation of what you've been desiring, of this new beginning, of this money, of this opportunity, of this new love, of this engagement, being able to buy a ring. Someone's going to buy a ring for sure. And like magic, it's like, it happens and what also what I'm feeling from this as well is that mirroring effect of the 51 and 15 and it's magician and the mirror so your person is reflecting back to you things that you need to work on and vice versa like you trigger one another but it's really beautiful you're both master manifestors I feel you both want the same things you both have been through similar things and you've learned a lot stand firm in who you are because you are the magician you have all the tools in your tool belt to bring this abundance and prosperity in these new beginnings take action all right for some of you you are signing a contract on a new home soon that's going to be something and right under this is, is yeah listen with your heart it's all about your heart chakra fourth chakra archangel Raphael. okay Raphael with you this is the healer of the lovers you guys New beginnings, 38 is an 11, and I saw that, what, 1101, 111, new beginnings, alignment for this. Listen with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. And then right under that, I just have to put these out. Spirit really wants me to do this as confirmation. Right under that is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is your crown chakra. This is your connection with the divine, realizing that you're co-creating with the divine and the angels here. For these new beginnings the door to spirits wide open and that's really important for you right now and i swear i felt the yin and yang energy that oh yeah the dark the light and dark this yin and yang energy and here it is so there, that's the balance right that's coming in so there's balance coming in trust that your connection with source with God, with the universe. Coming up with a strategy and plan and trusting that, that's what's gonna change everything. And bringing all that energy into your heart space and taking action, that's how you get the stability here in these new beginnings. You're both evolving. You're both a higher mind, masters. Well, there's healing and harmonic flight, but there's too many coming out. So there's healing, a lot of healing as you grow and heal, and there's harmonic flight. This is the twin flame soulmates coming together. I mean, this is definitely happening. New beginnings here. Okay, but I really just want to get one. Let's see if one can come out. 
So trust that you're taking flight. As you know, the hot air balloon. Okay, when this happens, it's incredible. Because you heard me shuffling. Whether you saw it or not, you could hear it. And I said, here it is, and I showed it to you, but I said, let's put it back in and see what comes out. And it took a little while. And then they said, okay, you need to cut the deck like you did in the, la in the last reading, <laughs> the Divine Feminine reading. You need to cut the deck because you need to cut it right now. And I always listen to my intuition, and this is the card that was on top. This is an incredible confirmation that you are going to come face to face and take harmonic flight with your sacred lover new beginnings rising up wow wow i'm gonna put this here this is the contract look the lovers and then we get archangel raphael coming in and saying yeah And then at the bottom, I have to show you because this is the soul star chakra. It's six inches above you, merging with the divine. That's what you're doing. That's how you're going to create this. That's how you're manifesting this is the divine is helping you. They're in it with you. They're ready for the twin flames, the soulmates, the sacred lovers that are meant to be together. It's time to take flight. Literally, you could be getting in a plane and taking flight. Seeing the divine in the eyes of another. Relationships with deep bonds. Karmic connection. Clearing illusionary projections. Life-changing connection. Transmuting dissonance. Removing heart armor. Being seen. Teamwork. This powerful image represents the divine we see when we look deeply into the eyes of another and our armor drops. When we meet another being present in the moment with no stories, judgments, or insecurities. I felt a little overwhelmed and intimidated when I painted this card. This is what the um, this is what Izzy Ivy is saying. I wasn't quite ready or didn't fully fathom the message. Then some months later, I experienced it when I was looking into the eyes of my beloved. Shortly after, I encountered the divine in the eyes of a stranger when space was held for this surrendered openness. When we see the person standing before us as the gods and goddesses they are, it is a reminder that we are what we perceive in others. But also, when we drop into the mindless space of pure essence, we might see the world seeing us, seeing them, seeing the infinite eternal, allowing all that is. Many people are seeking their twin flame as life-changing, world-rocking, and unfathomably beautiful finding the soul can be. It is quite possibly one of the most intensely confronting, trigger-provoking, and sometimes painful connections we can have. Those who are most dear to us can bring us to our greatest growth. That is why spending extended periods with our family can be challenging. When we can see and be seen, disarmored and trusting we can come to deeper love however this deepening process can trigger the release of outdated and unhealthy patterns thus shadows may be brought to the surface to heal when we feel safe in the arms of our beloved our defenses yield so we fall further into our hearts however fear-based reflections or projections can surface in this place of deep vulnerability that's what I felt with that moon card. Subconscious behaviors, including childhood patterning, can also prevent th present themselves. It can seem as if our partner is provoking difficulties, bringing things up and making it feel like our whole world is about to fall apart. At this point, we may want to retreat. But if we can be truly present, our fears can fall away. And this becomes an expansive experience. When we have a profound twin flame connection that feels beyond worlds and lifetimes, we bond with the other person so strongly 
that we choose to face the fire when we would usually walk away. Our passion drives us to seek resolution, to heal ourselves, to overcome barriers no matter how confronting it may seem. Because our partnership is worth it. And when we can rise, we rise together. I just got the chills everywhere. Oh, I could cry. And, and happy tears, happy tears. Somehow, incredibly, the universe seamlessly aligns the places the twin flames need healing. Their triggers may be synchronized so that when they feel uncentered or there is codependence or imbalance, it can be very volatile space. If they find safety and love and they are willing to see and be seen, their triggers can blossom into deep transformative healing for them both. This healing can forge the foundations for long-term companionship. Alternately, this completion could mark the ending. As the intense potency of a connection neutralizes, the relationship may transform into a different kind of unconditional love. Harmonic flight shows us that when we harmonize our energies with that of another, in any form of relationship, we can soar to the sky. We can guide each other higher and higher by encouraging all that has been weighing us down to drop away. What you see in the eyes of another is a reflection of yourself. This card may be encouraging you to look at the bigger picture of a close relationship. A perceived challenge may be an illusion or projection. This card may relate to family, teamwork, community, and the ways you can harmonize dissonance for deeper growth. The bonds you share give you the power to transmute your fears. Put time and awareness into resolving karmic connections or they will continue to play out. There may also be a life-changing connection on the horizon. Oh my God. I am so excited for you guys. I am so excited for us all to take flight towards our dreams with the person that we're meant to be with, to sign these new contracts, to get moving, to get grooving. And I would love to hear your stories and how this resonates. And what are you taking flight on? Take that leap of faith. The universe will catch you. And then you will, it's like spreading your wings and you dive down and you catch that updraft. And there you are, you and your lover. I mean, I could cry. It's so beautiful. Are just taking flight into a whole new world. I, wow. Wow. I love you all so much.